Example 5. Determine the asymptotes of fx equal to 2 over third x square minus 4. So how do we find vertical asymptotes? To find vertical asymptote, we always find the values of x for the function to be undefined. The function is in fraction form. For a fraction form, we know that the denominator cannot be 0. And the denominator is insert form. Thus, x square minus 4 greater than 0. We do the factorization to solve the inequality. We get x plus 2 times x minus 2. There are three methods to solve the inequalities. Let's do the graphical method. This is x equal to negative 2 on your left and this is x equal to 2 on your right. Looking at this inequality, this is greater than 0. So, the shaded area must be on the upper part. So the answer is x less than negative 2 or x greater than 2. And to find the vertical asymptotes, we need to test limit x tends to negative 2 from left. And for this part, we test limit x tends to 2 from right. Vertical asymptotes. Let's continue from the previous slide to find the limit. First, we need to test limit x tends to negative 2 from left. For the function of 2 over set x minus 2 times x plus 2. We do the substitution for the nearest value, so we get 2 over set negative 4 times negative value. Therefore, we get positive infinity. Second, we test limit x tends to 2 from right for the function of 2 over set x minus 2 times x plus 2. We substitute the nearest value, we get 2 over set positive value times 4 is equal to positive infinity. In conclusion, we might conclude that x equal to negative 2 and x equal to 2 are the vertical asymptotes. Horizontal asymptote. To find horizontal asymptote, we always test limit x tends to negative infinity and limit x tends to positive infinity. The function is 2 over set x minus 2 times x plus 2. For the first one, limit x tends to negative infinity for the function of 2 over set x minus 2 times x plus 2. We might do the direct substitution so we get 2 over infinity equal to 0. Same goes with x tends to positive infinity for the function of 2 over set x minus 2 times x plus 2. We also get 2 over infinity equal to 0. Therefore, we might conclude that y equal to 0 is the horizontal asymptote. Example 6. 
determine the asymptotes of fx equal to ln x. First, we start with vertical asymptote. A log or ln function, x is always greater than 0. We may conclude that this function is defined for x greater than 0. Therefore, we need to test limit x tends to 0 from right for the function of ln x. And we get negative infinity. Otherwise, you may sketch the graph from what you have learned in chapter 5, function and graph. How do we sketch fx equal to ln x? So when x tends to 0 from right and y tends to negative infinity. And the graph of fx equal to ln x must be somewhere here and approaching x equal to 0. Therefore, we may conclude that x equal to 0 is the vertical asymptote. And how about horizontal asymptote? There is no horizontal asymptote for a logarithmic function. So you may write no horizontal asymptote. Example 7. Determine the asymptotes of fx equal to exponent negative x. Let's start with vertical asymptote. This is an exponential function. We know that an exponential function is the inverse of logarithmic function. Therefore, for the function of fx equal to exponent negative x, there is no vertical asymptote. How about horizontal asymptote? For a horizontal asymptote, we always test limit x tends to negative infinity and limit x tends to positive infinity for the function of exponent negative x. First, limit x tends to negative infinity for the function of exponent negative x we get exponent negative times negative infinity is equal to exponent infinity and equals to positive infinity. Second, limit x tends to positive infinity for the function of exponent negative x. We get 1 over exponent infinity is equal to 0. And we may conclude that y equal to 0 is the horizontal asymptote.